welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. This is light scuba. And what I have here is three years. If you are new to this channel and you are yet to subscribe, kindly touch on the subscribe button to subscribe and also click on the notification bell to enable you get a notification once I upload a new video. For this mermaid dress, I will cut the front part first. So I'll fold my fabric into two. Okay, our fabric is folded into two. And the length of the gown that I'm working with is 59 inches. This 59 inches are minus half length from it, giving us 45 inches. So I'm going to measure out 45 inches length. And also add folding allowance. Okay, here is the length of the gown. I'll mark this out with my ruler. So I'll mark this out. Here is gown length. I'll take ways to hip line measurements. Since this will be a gown, I'll make use of nine inches. If it's for skate, I will use eight inches waist to under hip is 13 inches so here is waist measurement the waist measurement that i'm working with is 29 inches divided by four will give us 7.25 now so mark 7.2. Add 1 inch for that and 2 inches for same allowance, making it 3 inches. The hip is 38 inches divided by 4 will give us 9.5. Here is 9.5. I will also add 2 inches for same allowance. Under hip is 35.5 divided by 4 will give us 8.87. I will mark that here. Also add 2 inches for same allowance. Waist to knee measurement is 21 inches. That will go up by 4 inches, giving us 18 inches. So this is waist to new measurement. Go up by 4 inches to get what you want. So this is where the flare will start from. So when I reach here, I will curve it down like this. Remember, it will be a shape moment dress. So I will check what I have at this under hip together with same allowance. What I have is 11 inches, so minus 1 inch from it, giving me 10 inches. So here I will mark 10 inches at the knee measurement. So I will connect from waist to hip, under hip, and knee measurement. This is our gown length. So at this gown length here, it depends on how wide you want this side to be. So I will use 18 inches here. When you open it, it will give us 36 inches. So I will mark, I will mark from knee measurement to this. 18 inches. So this is what I have. After 
after marking this out at this side go up by one and a half inches curve it so we'll go ahead and cut this out I will use this to cut out the back side. Now carefully fold this. Okay, this is it. You place the front one on top of the fabric folded into two. And also mark zip allowance. This is new measurement. So I'll mark my zip allowance and stop at this new measurement. And I'm using one and a half inch for zip allowance and connect a straight line so for this side i will measure out eight inches this is exactly eight inches so where i mark new measurements i will move in by i'll move in by half inch okay so i'll make a slant curve to this half inch so this eight inches we are going to use it for the tail so this is the length of the front part i left space here too Here I will measure 12 inches. So this is 12 inches. So here is 12 inches. And this size is 8 inches. So all I need to do now is to All I need to do now is to slant from this half inch that I move here to this 12 inches. With my ruler, I will mark it down. So this is it. So I'm going to also slant this from where the front part stop. So I will connect this like this. To this front part length. So after that, I will trace this side of the front part. This is what you have. Here is the allowance. To this end. 
all of it. So we'll go ahead and cut this out. So this is it. I'll finish joining the back side together. I'll also face the side of this body measurement divide by two. So I'm going to close this body measurement, bust measurement, waist measurement, hip measurement, under hip. I'm going to divide them by two and also take the measurement here. After that, I will go to my machine and stitch it. And I will join it to the hemline and that would be all.